Hey there everyone, welcome to your reading. So as the title suggests, this reading is about who is coming towards you and what intentions might they have and some other information about you know your connection to this person. Uh, so today we have three groups. We have group one, group two and group three. Uh, if you want to pause the video to choose your pal, feel free to do so. But I shall see you guys in your reading. Hey group one, welcome to your reading. So for those of you who chose this show, this is for you guys. Let's leave this back way right down here. So we're going to start off with who. Who is coming towards you and then we're going to be looking at their intentions and then we'll kind of get into the rest of it. So let's start off with your tarot cards first guys. The first card we have is the seven of cups reversed. The Knight of Cups reversed also. We have the Three of Wands reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed. So the person who's coming towards you, okay, so this person who's coming towards you, um, you may know who this person is. And I kind of, I, I get the feeling that some of you may know who this person is, but I feel like there has been a lot of stagnation, you know, between you guys um maybe it's like kind of bubbling on the surface but you guys maybe haven't really did like dug much deeper with this person um i'm sensing that this person who's coming towards you they could be a fire sign they could be a water sign i'm hearing sagittarius or leo or a cancer specifically or maybe aquarius um but yeah this is someone who definitely has some insecurities this person who's coming towards you they may have some tendencies to be uh, overly emotional as well. So this could be someone who is extremely sensitive. But do you know how they're sensitive and then there's, you know, someone who kind of uses their emotions to maybe, you know, kind of just do, you know, silly things like be jealous and act very possessive, especially in like a harmful way. Uh, so, yeah, definitely just be cautious of that. Like this person does seem like they have some you know insecurities and this person may not be experiencing much growth in their life when they meet you as well they could be very limited with their options when you meet this person um i'm sensing this person would be very romantic though but um i feel like their very sensitive side it's like it could be a bit of a double-edged sword like, i feel like this person could be very uh romantic but at the same time very uh, jealous or possessive when it comes to their lovers um, even if there isn't you know any serious commitment being presented like this person could feel very like possessive over their partners but yeah I'm kind of just getting the feeling that when you meet this person it's either that they won't be taking much action towards you like when you meet this person or when they come towards you like maybe there won't be much movement um, in the beginning like it seems very very slow but because we're doing who is coming towards you, so it's kind of like a guarantee that this person will come towards you if this reading is even for you. Um, but yeah, someone who's maybe not experiencing much um, expansion or growth um, within their career, someone who's kind of just feeling a little bit stuck and um, not feeling the best about themselves, like this person could have some self-worth, um, you know, issues as well. Uh, for some of you, this could be someone who is at a distance from you because you do have the three of wands uh, here. Or maybe distance isn't an issue, but maybe there's maybe there's an um, emotional distance between you guys. Or I don't know, maybe you guys are just not on the same page or I don't know. I feel like there isn't. I mean, for some of you, there could be, you know, a significant amount of distance between you. But for the, for the. Most of you, I don't feel like it's actual distance. I feel like it's distance, but even emotional distance or mental distance or kind of not feeling like it could stem from this person not feeling worthy enough to um, to even have you, I guess, or to want you. Uh, so, yeah. I was really hoping to get some positive qualities. Like this person could be extremely passionate as well um but like i feel like this person could be super passionate and super emotional but um to the point where it's a little bit overwhelming maybe 
maybe they feel these emotions very strongly but at the same time they may not have a strong grasp of um you know their passions and you know their emotions at this time anyway so yeah that's the person who's going to come towards you if you want to run the other direction you know <laughs> um but you know you know things can change so anyways let's see what intentions this person has though okay so now we're going to look into their intentions uh when they come towards you guys okay and hopefully this will be a bit more positive okay so the first card we have is the ace of swords so this person so this person's intention is to communicate with you i feel like their intention is to be extremely um assertive i feel like maybe they haven't been assertive in the past i feel like maybe they had all these feelings kind of bubbling below the surface and they didn't take action on their feelings with these two knights being in reverse and especially that three of wands being in reverse i feel like this person didn't take a risk maybe they were too afraid of their emotions i feel like there's there's something very overwhelming like i don't know if it's insecurities but there's definitely something overwhelming that was stopping this person from wanting to progress or expand either in their personal life or with you but um their intention is to come towards you with the ace of swords energy so kind of bringing forward communication and this is new communication as well so this could be like communication that you haven't actually had with no do you know how you communicate a certain way with someone for a certain amount of time and then it kind of just switches so that could be what happens with you and this person maybe they intend to you know communicate more with you or to be more assertive with you but their intention is to have a successful outcome uh when it comes to you when it comes to this connection okay so we also have the nine of wands so this person's intentions also is to heal this person's intentions yes they may have a guard up this person definitely has a guard up um but i do feel like this person is trying to work on healing themselves because nine of wands is about recognize well for me personally it's about recognizing your you know your own wounds and the things that are you know kind of keeping you guarded so this person could have the intention of lowering their guard but you know these are two like not super aggressive cards but i don't know maybe this person still comes towards you with the intention of keeping their guard up but i only feel like it's more of a protective thing you know i'm not telling you to like you know what i'm not telling you to you know put up with anyone's nonsense but you know it could be more of a healing thing you know but we also have the five of swords reversed for their intention and we have the three of swords reversed so we have two cards here for me personally that point towards healing so maybe this person is coming towards you with the intention of you know healing things between you guys putting an end to conflict uh if that makes sense but there is a lot of swords here so this person's intention is definitely to communicate with you and i feel like this person realizes the challenges they face coming towards you when it comes to their self-worth maybe and kind of being guarded but i feel like this person you know with that five of swords being in reverse i feel like this person has the intention of putting down their swords i feel like this will be a process obviously i don't feel like it's going to happen overnight um but this person definitely has the intentions of healing for some of you this person has the intention of reconciling as well reconciliation for some of you guys with that three of swords being in reverse but it's like they definitely want to communicate with you um they definitely want to let their guard down and even though they may feel you know kind of exhausted or you know a bit worn out i still get the sense that they want to fight for this um fight for you know this connection or they at least want to try you know um Let me see if i can get anything else so yeah this person definitely has the intention of communicating with you guys they may communicate with you via email um you know via text but with the ace of swords they could definitely communicate um i mean this communication could happen quite you know quickly but i feel like the whole process of you guys maybe kind of getting comfortable with each other whoever this person is uh it may take some time for sure
yeah so let's see what else we have guys <clears throat> okay let's see if we make some space oh, that should be fine okay so the first card we have is healing a family issue so you know whoever this person is they could be in the process of healing um you know family issues right now like their own personal family issues that could be one of the reasons um maybe that could be one of the reasons they feel like there's challenges on their path or this could be one of the re you know because we've been I feel like we've been talking about healing quite a lot so maybe this is one of the things this person is healing maybe before they're able to come towards you or maybe that's you know that could be i don't know i kind of feel like there's certain things that can be blocking this person from love that could possibly stem from you know kind of seeing the different relationships in their own family so they could be working on healing their own family issues and um yeah so that they are able to move forward with their life in some way put something behind them uh this person is definitely going to have romantic feelings for you guys um you know it says here that it's worth exploring but definitely trust your um intuition guys you know And we also have pay attention to the red flags. So yeah, this person could definitely exhibit a lot of red flags. And I'm not telling you to, you know, wait for someone or to, uh, you know, put up with anyone's nonsense. But, you know, if this person is actively trying to, you know, work on the, the negative aspects on themselves, then, you know, why not give it a go? But I don't know this could sound like a mess to some people but um yeah definitely pay attention to the red flags guys um and kind of like if you do see any red flags and you kind of feel like you are able to nip it in the bud um you know early on then definitely do that but if it's you know if it's something that you feel like you can't tolerate at all then definitely don't wait for anyone don't try to change anyone as well because only this person could do that um but i feel like you do or will inspire this person to heal in some ways for sure but yeah they could definitely have some red flags for sure for sure um so we have teeth here so maybe this is someone that you have fun with or someone you take a risk with with take a big bite of life big bite out of life <laughs> so yeah you could actually decide to take a risk on this person i'm not telling you to take a risk but if it feels right for you you know then to you but uh we also have guide so i don't know you may feel like you know this union with this person was kind of like divinely orchestrated should we say and you know you may want to take a risk on this person um kind of just i definitely follow your own intuition with this group i feel like it could go either way some of you guys are going to be like you know hell a no send me someone different you know but others of you could be like especially if you think you know who this person is and you feel like you can you know work with the situation then definitely uh you know do what's best for you guys so the next two cards we have are happy life i feel like um with this person i feel like with you when they come towards you yes they may be extremely guarded but i feel like in the process this person would definitely let their guard down with um with you and i feel like you would have some happy times with this person as well i feel like things would actually be very fun with them um and you guys could have a, you know a harmonious you know time together obviously there's challenges in every like connection relationship but i do feel like this person will actively try to be less guarded when it comes to you guys and we have concealed power give birth to a powerful revelation so you may actually get a revelation about this person maybe you kind of get gain a new perspective uh, when it comes to this relationship when it comes to this connection um but i do feel like you you and whoever this person is you do have the potential to kind of turn things around if you wanted to um but yeah 
let's see what else we have the next two cards we have are forgiveness hill so perhaps this is someone guys perhaps this is someone you've already you already know um because i we do have the three of swords in reverse here which is about forgiveness we have forgiveness hills so maybe this is someone who teaches you how to forgive maybe you help this person forgive and find healing in their own life maybe you really help this person to heal i do feel like you guys were put into each other's lives or you are going to be put into each other's lives for a reason and it could be to kind of help each other grow um in some way you know whether this relationship is going to be long lasting or whether it's not going to be you know but i do feel like you guys will help each other um kind of align more with your life purposes uh, in some way and finally we have divine intervention so yeah i do feel like uh this connection is going is like divinely orchestrated even though it may seem like a bit of a mess at the beginning uh this person does have the intention to be you know assertive to be honest to you know try and lower their guard down especially if they do feel safe with you uh, for some of you, this could be someone who's coming back from the past, who's wanting forgiveness. Um, and yeah. So that is all I have for you, group one. If I get any more messages, I'll put them down in the comments. But for now, um, I feel like I'm done with group one, okay? So I hope this made sense for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm wishing you guys all the best on your journeys, okay? So take care of yourself, guys. Bye. Hey there, group two. For those of you who chose this shell, this is for you guys so we're asking today who is coming towards you with what intentions and any other messages we can get so i'm going to start off with your tarot cards first and we're going to be looking at whom this person is oh god okay uh, okay so the first card we have is the hanged man the tower in reverse we have the ten of swords and we have the death card reversed. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so first of all, group number two, whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they are very resistant to change. We have the tower in reverse and we have the death card in reverse. Like two of the biggest like changing, you know, inspired cards we have. And they're both in reverse. So this person is definitely uh, resistant to change. Um, maybe this person who's coming towards you, they could have quite chaotic energy um or if it's not that then they could definitely be experiencing some chaos in their life when they come towards you uh this person i don't want to say shy i mean for some of you this person could be shy or reserved in some way this is someone who has made a lot of sacrifices in their life or they had to make a lot of sacrifices like this is someone i kind of feel who you know, I don't want to say constantly puts themselves second, but this person does, you know, put certain people before them or certain things before them in their life. Like, you know, when this person comes towards you, they could definitely be experiencing some destruction and like some chaos and, you know, some some unpleasant changes, uh, you know, when you meet them. Like when you meet them, this person who's coming towards you, I'm so sorry these piles, like today I've... I don't know what's going on today but you know power one and power two has been like not a mess but it's just been like it's kind of sad you know but with that ten of swords being in the upright um i clarified um earlier actually i wanted to see if that ten of swords meant if they had betrayed you before you know whoever this person is like if they had if they were someone who betray betrayed you but um when I clarified it, it was actually that, you know, whoever this person is, they have either recently experienced a serious betrayal and this person is just kind of feeling beaten down by life. 
um, if it wasn't recently, then maybe this is like a continuous theme in their life. Like they're continuously experiencing changes, like unpleasant changes, and they're constantly feeling a bit beaten down. Maybe they're kind of feeling like they can never win uh, in some situation. They're kind of feeling like they always have to be uh, the martyr. I feel like I'm using that word in the right context, um, context, but yeah, this is someone who's also very patient though, uh, very patient, uh, you may have felt like you've been in limbo with this person for a very long time, like you don't really know where you stand with this person, we do have three major arcanas, so perhaps this is, you know, whoever this is that's coming towards you, it is quite a significant connection, Okay, so this is someone who may have the tendency to be stuck in the past as well. Like, this is someone who is so afraid of change. I feel like when they meet you or if they have met you already, then I definitely feel like you shook this person a little bit. To the point where, like, this person knows they need to make some changes, like, some much-needed changes. Like, they know this is going to improve their life so much, but they're so they're so much holding on to the past and they're so afraid of change they're so resistant to change that they kind of rather just kind of stay in this ten of swords mode and kind of just i want to i don't want to say feel sorry for themselves because they may actually have very good reason you know to feel um you know beaten down and stuff but i feel like for some of you this is um self-imposed you know So yeah, damn. So now let's see what intentions are they. <laughs> let's see what tensions they have um, coming towards you. And the reason why I laugh because the first card we have is the um, the death card. So this person is coming towards you with the intention of making a change, which is positive, right? But let me get the rest of the cards out first. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Um, we have the devil reversed and we have the seven of pentacles okay so this is much more positive their intentions are much more positive so that's good so this person is coming towards you with the intention of putting the past behind them and embracing this transformation you know this transformation that the universe has kind of been forcing on them and I feel like their intention is definitely to take on that challenge um to lean into change to embrace change and this person definitely um, I'm hearing restoration as well so perhaps this person wants to restore something within this connection or they want to restore I feel like this is personal restoring though. I feel like this person is coming towards you with the intention of making healthier choices. This person may have uh, the intention of being extremely possessive over you. Um, I, I, I want to say controlling as well. Like this person may have the intention of trying to control you. Uh, so definitely be cautious of that. But I do feel like this person is, you know, trying to make healthier choices with that devil card being in reverse. And with that seven of pentacles being in reverse, it's like this person is going to be patient. And they feel like you are a worthwhile investment or this person will definitely make the effort when it comes to this connection, like invest in the right amount of time. Um, but they could go a bit overboard when it comes to, when it comes to, I don't want to say your freedom, you know, but this person may have a tendency to be a little bit jealous or possessive um, over you, even though this person is, you know, trying to make healthier choices for themselves. So I feel like this person's also, their intention is to liberate you in some way to free you in some way maybe this person is being brought into your life to um you know same way this person you know is being forced to make changes i feel like this person could be coming into your life to force you to make some positive changes in your life also i don't feel like it's you know as extreme as the changes they're going through but for example this could be 
like if you're someone who is quite um you know controlled when it comes to love you, you're you don't really let your guard down or you find it hard to let people in i feel like this person could you know liberate you in that way but i do feel like this connection this person is coming in with the intention i do feel like they are coming in with some good intentions but um you know with that jealousy and that possessiveness um you know that can happen to the best of us so um you know, kind of just nip it in the bud if you can from the jump, you know. Uh, but yeah, this person is definitely coming towards you wanting to make a change, uh, willing to put the past behind you guys or hoping to put the past behind you guys and, um, you know, kind of invest their energy into, um, into allowing this connection to grow in some way. But their intention is definitely to invest in this, for sure. Let's see what else we have. So the next card we have is express your love. So this person may actually come towards you uh, and express themselves towards you. They may make a romantic gesture uh, when they do come towards you. We also have calling in your soulmate. So for some of you, this person could definitely be a soulmate of yours. I do feel like it is going to be a very significant, um, you know, connection with all the... This person could 100% be a Scorpio. Like, for me, the hangman represents Scorpio. I don't know why I, I kind of relate that to Scorpio. I don't know why, but... <laughs> so, yeah, this person could definitely be a Scorpio. So, we've like, got Scorpio, Scorpio. This person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Sagittarius, Leo could be any sign obviously but that's the one that's coming to me right now and pisces and we also have unrequited love damn okay so so i don't know whose end this is coming from but uh they i mean this person could ha definitely have some fears uh surrounding uh chemistry perhaps they feel like you won't be uh, totally attracted to them uh for some of you i feel like this person could be afraid that they're so much more into you than you are into them um so yeah for some of you the situation could involve unrequited love But I see you guys maybe wanting to work on this anyway. Like if the attraction is not there. Like the physical attraction. Yeah, some of you may not be completely physically attracted to this person. That could be, um, you know, one of their insecurities. So yeah, there, there could be some issues surrounding like chemistry and physical attraction when it comes to you and this person. I feel like this person does have the intention of coming in and kind of being quite protective over you. But I feel like, um, you know, if there is some still unhealed parts of this person, you know, them kind of, um, you know, trying to keep you safe or them trying to protect you may come across or it may manifest as them being jealous or possessive, okay? So the next card we have is a box. So yeah, I feel like this connection is going to help you open up in some way. Uh, I definitely feel like this connection is going to help you maybe come to a realization um, in your own life with something that will help you with your own personal growth. And finally, we have naked. So I feel like, I don't know if I was saying this with the other pile or this pile, my memory is so bad. Um... But yeah, this connection could actually help you. Like, for example, if you do have trouble, um, you know, kind of being open, vulnerable in a relationship, I definitely feel like this person is going to come in and not necessarily teach you how to be vulnerable, but maybe they make you feel safe enough to be vulnerable 
uh with them like i definitely feel like this person is going to maybe help you come out of your shell in some regards or maybe you help this person come out of their shell maybe you guys you know both help each other um in different ways but i do feel like this connection uh you guys are going to be able to be emotionally raw and emotionally honest with each other and maybe you're going to be able to be really vulnerable with this person as well <clears throat> so we have do not be frustrated let go and feel peaceful so there are going to be moments in this connection you know whether you even you know take this connection on like whether you even invest in it in yourself um there could be a lot of moments of frustration uh, when it comes to this person uh, but the advice here is to kind of let go like don't allow this person or allow this situation to stress you out and kind of just see how it goes without being i would say without being too invested in it like try not to become too invested in this person straight away but you may feel like a significant uh you may feel significantly like drawn to this person uh but if there are moments of frustration, try not to give in to those feelings. And next we have Dawn of Love. So, so this person could actually have the intention of coming towards you. I don't want to say quite quickly, but it's definitely on the horizon. <laughs> you know, love is on the horizon. But I feel like this person does still have to, you know, make some changes. You know, they are very resistant right now, but I do feel like, you know, their intention is to kind of lean in to their resistance and lean in to change. So we'll kind of just have to see how that goes. I should have really done an outcome. I should have done an outcome. I'm going to do an extension for this one. I feel like maybe in a few days and see what, you know, the outcome could possibly be. I don't know. The next card we have is value your self-worth. So maybe this connection will um, help you value your self-worth in some way. But this person is definitely going to find you very valuable. I feel like you're going to help this person kind of value themselves as well. Um, but yeah, this person is going to definitely think you're very uh, precious to them. They're going to like see you as one in a million as well. And finally, we have life lessons. So yeah, you guys are definitely coming into each other's life for um like you guys are going to have great impact on one another for sure so you guys are going to help each other break free from you know negative patterns um so yeah i really do feel like this connection has the potential for you guys to heal each other in some way like i don't know i feel like when you guys come together like there may be lessons to learn on the way but I do feel like you guys are going to help each other break free from any negative patterns that are holding you back from, you know, kind of embracing love or finding, you know, the right one for you guys. <laughs> but anyways, that is all I have for you. If I get any more messages, I'll leave them in the comments. Because sometimes when I, sometimes when I end the reading, like 500 more messages come out and I decided that if that happens, I'm going to just leave it in the comments, okay? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, week, year, and all that jazz, okay? So take care of yourself, guys. Bye. Hey, group three. Hey, group three. Welcome to your reading. For those of you who chose this uh, beautiful show. Let's put this down here. This is for you guys. Okay, so who is coming towards you and what intentions? We're going to start off with the who first with your tarot cards. Um, and yes, so the first card we have is the page of wands. We're starting off a bit better than the other two groups. <laughs> we have the eight of swords as well. So we have Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Camera just cut off for some reason. And finally, we have the Five of Cups. I definitely spoke too soon. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so who is this person that is coming towards you? Group. Sorry, let me just get this a bit straighter. Or it's going to bug me. Do you know what that I'll have to do? <laughs> That's what I have to do. 
Okay, guys, group free. So this person who's coming towards you, I'm so sorry. All these groups groups are a bit rough today, but this person who's coming towards you, they may have a tendency to be a little bit pessimistic and to kind of, you know, limit themselves in ways that they don't necessarily have to limit themselves. So this person could have, I don't want to say a lack mindset, but definitely um, a self-limiting mindset. Uh, in some way this is someone who could definitely be a very pessimistic like half glass half glass empty is that how you say it like glass half empty kind of person you know this person could also be uh younger than you they could be a fire sign they could be an air sign i'm hearing sagittarius i don't know why i'm hearing sagittarius a lot lately but pisces moon pisces moon okay but anyway so yeah this is definitely someone who it's maybe a bit sad like they may be a bit sad like someone who is kind of feeling a bit sorry for themselves to be honest like they could have a bit of a victim mentality i'm not gonna lie to you but this is someone who's definitely seeing all of the negatives but seeing none of the positives like this person is not acknowledging the blessings that they actually do have in their lives or the blessings that that they can easily manifest instead they're kind of focusing on the things that they don't have um so yeah this could be someone who i don't know if they would um you know kind of put their own self limitations on you but this is definitely someone who limits themselves uh in some way this person has a big crush on you maybe you kind of feel like this person has a crush on you they could be younger than you if they're not younger than you then they could definitely just be um you know I, I don't want to because I hate comparing two different lives because you know we're all on different journeys but this could be someone who is maybe not as far along in their journey as you are if that makes sense so uh like this person may doesn't have to necessarily be younger than you for some of you that's definitely the case but for those of you who it, they are not younger than you this person could just maybe I don't want to say immature um but definitely still have a lot of growing to do for sure uh 100 they have a lot of growing to do um so yeah this is some, definitely someone who limits themselves a little bit pessimistic they could be going through a bit of a tough time like they could be experiencing kind of like some bad luck in their lives um they could be kind of stuck in like uh, feelings of regret feelings of loss remorse um so i definitely see that this person has some healing towards to do in their own lives this could be someone who's very fun though you know so this could be someone who knows how to have fun they like to go on adventures this could be someone who's very creative as well they may love to write they may um like to swim <laughs> they may like to do like kind of like play childish games and, and when i say childish games i just mean um you know games because you'll see me at the park on the swings you know down the slides and stuff like that but so this person could you know like to have childish fun you know so which isn't a bad thing at all but yeah they could definitely just have some self-limiting beliefs for sure let's see what intentions this person has though so the first card we have is the Ten of Wands. We have the Moon. We have the Three of Wands reversed. And we have the High Priestess reversed. Okay, so this person is coming towards you with the intention of maybe helping you out in some way um if you're someone with a lot on your you know a lot on your plate maybe you're someone with a ton of responsibility i i see this person wanting to come in and maybe want wanting to be of service to you that's well that's at least their intention of wanting to be of service to you but this person definitely has the intention of hiding something from you as well whether that's you know a negative or a positive um i'm not sure but I do feel like this person wants to keep something from you. Like they want, like, and, and this could be different things. I'm kind of 
for some reason i'm kind of getting this i'm getting the message of addiction that's obviously not going to be the case for all of you so for example if this is someone with uh some addictions uh, whether it's gambling porn you know sex i don't know um this person you know may have the intention of hiding that from you okay uh but i do feel like this person kind of wants to trust their instincts like they have the intention of kind of following their instincts a bit more following their intuition a bit more it's funny we have you got two cards relating to intuition i feel like with that high priestess in reverse though i feel like this person has the intention of being honest with you not honest with you but i do feel like they have the intention oh my god i can't even get my words out i feel like they have the intention of um shining giving you clarity re revealing a secret to you so maybe yeah revealing something to you guys which will help you gain more clarity but i'm seeing at this point in time this person may not actually have the intention of um, you know or at least when they come towards you they may not have the intention of um, wanting things to grow this could definitely be stemming from some insecurities this person definitely struggles with insecurities uh you know kind of feeling good enough feeling worthy uh, so that's definitely some things that they need to work on but i'm kind of getting the sense that this person may come towards you um like i feel like there's going to be a lot of passion with this person like i feel like there's going to be um you know a lot of chemistry with this person but i feel like there's so much unknowns like this person could be keeping a lot from you like and, and like i said it may not be in a negative sense but you know um like this person just may admit the truth a lot if that makes sense which is kind of annoying actually I'm kind of getting the message that this person is going to be making the choice to move towards you like that is their intention but I'm kind of seeing no growth I'm seeing no growth or at least very slow growth you know whoever this person that's coming in like I don't know like I'm kind of getting lies and deception from this person honestly so yeah they may have the intention of coming towards you and maybe kind of deceiving you in some way you know whether that's a small deception or a big deception you know deception is deception so definitely be cautious of that i definitely feel like this person is going to exhibit a lot of red flags so definitely be cautious of that this person is definitely coming towards you with the intention of being cautious themselves um, but it's like they're coming towards you with the intention of being cautious which is one of the very reasons like that's the very thing that's creating a block well one of the things that's creating a block for uh this connection is like they're coming into it with the intention of experiencing no growth like whether or not that's what they really want um or you know it could kind of be stemming from this person just not feeling good enough you know but whatever the case may be i'm i'm not seeing much growth or at least this person's intentions are not on um expanding anything or growing uh at least straight away uh you know okay let's see what else we have guys so this person could be aquarius they could be an air sign pisces leo sagittarius scorpio Libra, Pisces, I've said that already, but yeah, those are the signs that are coming up for me straight away. But let's see what else we have. The first card we have is true love. So for some of you, this could be, you know, true love, but you know, there are like a lot of challenges, a lot of hurdles. Um, I feel like this person may have a lot on their plate already, but I do feel like they want to kind of take on more, but it's like, it's like they do, but they don't, you know, it's like they want to, they want to be there for you, but I, I definitely sense there's some blocks, um, kind of, uh, stopping this per person from seeing the potential growth in this situation. So we also have separation as well. 
So maybe this person, when you meet them, they'll be going through a separation. Uh, maybe you've been separated from this person. Maybe you guys, uh, with that Wheel of Fortune being there, maybe you've actually already experienced a cycle with this person. Perhaps it didn't end on the best, um, you know, maybe you guys didn't end on the best terms. Uh, so for some of you, this could be like a reconciliation type of energy. I don't feel, I don't get that message for the majority though, to be honest. But for some of you, that could be the case. I feel like when you meet this person, I feel like... Honestly, I'm not getting the sense that this person has incredibly, like, damaging uh, <laughs> intentions. But because they are unhealed, like, it's just... I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it, honestly, like, dating someone that's unhealed in some way, you know, especially if they're not willing to acknowledge that part of themselves it could be very difficult so i feel like you know within this connection like if you do decide to invest in this person i do feel like at some point you guys may actually separate from each other for whatever reason you guys may decide to take time apart uh from this person or perhaps you've already taken time away from this person and this is someone who's you know returning to you if that is making sense <laughs> the next card we have guys is we have worth waiting for so <laughs> oh god so for some of you the guys maybe this connection you know is worth waiting for i'm not personally telling you to wait for anyone you know like do you you know let this person heal themselves and you know when they are healed and if you are available to them when you know this that you know outcome happens then awesome but um, for some of you, I don't know, maybe maybe you have been separated from this person and maybe this person has been worth waiting for. I don't know. It's going to be different for everyone. But definitely trust your own intuition, guys, okay? So you actually may meet this person at their job. You might meet them at your job as well. Uh, maybe you work with this person. Maybe you end up working with this person uh but yeah so yeah so for yeah some of you can meet this person at work or through work we have here falling drop into the deep end of your soul i feel like you're going to help this person open up i feel like you're going to help this person you know really confront some of their you know inner demons and kind of help them drop into the deep end of their soul uh but like i said uh you know with this 10 of wands here this person could be like a lot of work for some of you guys and it's just like whether or not you're you're, you're wanting to invest in a connection like this the next two cards we have is listen to advice so definitely if someone tries to give you advice about this person like when they do come towards you um, you know kind of just hear other people out when it comes to this person they may be able to help you you know uh, see another perspective or help you kind of shine a light on certain things that maybe you weren't you were unclear on um, so definitely when it comes to this connection definitely uh, seek out advice listen to advice and um, maybe even um, like doing couples counseling with this person like especially if you have been separated from this person and you are wanting to reconcile like um you know kind of doing couples counseling or you know something like that uh could be being advised right now and lastly well next card we have is union of love so for some of you this may actually end up as a union but I feel like there may be a separation in the middle of this connection just to help this person gain clarity. Like they're kind of coming towards you at the, at the beginning with the intention of being deceptive, with the intention of trying to hide something from you, maybe hiding their insecurities. Uh, I'm hearing hiding money problems for some of you guys. And it's like because of the issues that they're going through, they're not going to actually want much. They're not going to want much growth because it's like, how can I want growth for someone who is already excelling in life, you know, and like, look at me, I'm just like a bit stagnant, you know, so I do feel like this person may kind of bow out at some point, but then they're going to come back, um, you know, the high priestess in reverse and kind of 
um, be open about how they're feeling and kind of share some of the things that are on the ch- on their chest and maybe kind of having some heart to heart conversations. And perhaps it does end in a union of love if you guys are able to work through these obstacles together. OK, I'm not obviously I'm not you know telling you to, you know, kind of take part in anything that can be potentially unhealthy. Uh, but, you know. The next card we have is socialize or join in. So maybe you guys do a lot of socializing together. Um, I feel like maybe this person or you and you and this person will end up maybe being uh, supportive friends for one another. Maybe you guys start the connection off as friends. We also have sensitive emotions. So this could be someone who's quite sensitive, which does make sense uh, with the cards they do have below there. So this could be someone with who is extra uh, sensitive. So I don't know if the advice is for you to be gentle with this person. Um, I mean, you guys could be gentle with this person. Definitely, uh, I wouldn't recommend... Um, putting this person's you know needs above your own at all but this could be someone who is uh quite sensitive and maybe you guys start off as friends or you reconnect as friends and it kind of grows from there if that's something that you wanted (sighs) but anyways group group three this is all i have for you i hope this made sense for you and your situation And I'm wishing you guys all the best on your journeys. If I get any more messages, I'll leave them down in the comments, okay? But I'm wishing you guys all the best. Bye.